Question. What does a pair of white socks, vapor rub, non fat dry milk, a big fat bottle of vinegar, hydrogen peroxide have in common? Answer in a minute. Hi, this is Jan from New York City, and my channel name is Jan from New York City Saves Money. Hey, how you doing today? Hope that this video finds everybody doing well. I bet I got you wondering especially about the sock. Well, here's the thing. Every single item I have here has one thing in common. They can make your life easier, and they could save you a ton of money. Now, you're probably really wondering about the sock. Well, if you have those type of sweeper devices at home or mop type devices at home that cost you a lot of do re me replacing those expensive pads, if you know what I mean, you can actually take this kind of a sock, put it on one end of the thing that you're covering with the stick on it that you move around the floor if you know what I'm saying take one sock go to one side with it go to the other side take a second sock and then overlap it and guess what you could just simply spray your floor with a little bit of cleaner and do a quick dust mop and what you do with the socks toss them in the machine uh, not a bad idea when you're trying to save money because those pads can cost a lot of dough, Ramey, really particularly good if you have just really like dust going around and you just want to like quickly remove it type thing. Uh, give it a whirl. Uh, if you ran out of those pads and you, you really love those pads, there's nothing wrong with loving those pads. But if you want something in between trips to the grocery store, to buy those pads or to stretch your budget if you're having a particularly tight month and you don't want to go for X number of dollars on an item like that, use this sock trick and you will save money. Now, we talked a little bit recently about vapor rub. You can get this at the Dollar Tree type store for a song, for a dollar or maybe a little bit more. Because the regular price is about three times the price of the dollar. So that's definitely something to consider. But what I love especially about this type of product is that it has a multi-use factor. Any product that's multi-use, that's sort of a standard at home, is a winner, winner, winner. And I have a video precisely about the multi-uses of this product, of which I'm going to link up to the description box below. I just have to search it out and pull it up and attach it to this video. So it really is worth your while. Any sort of a product that you get multi-use out of is a winner in every single direction. Why pay full price for a certain items if you could get a similar item for a fraction of the cost? Which basically it is the same ingredients. What we're usually paying for with these things are fancy schmancy packaging and packaging does not matter to my bank account someone else's idea of a design or a package i'm just saying you know what i'm trying to say okay now the jury's out about this at this point because this is why i'm pointing this out there was a time there was a time probably pre-covid or whatever time that you could get these things available quickly and for a song Definitely a lot cheaper than uh, straight, you know, milk from the gallon in the original state. But prices vary today, and it may be an increase. When times get better, and this goes back on better prices, then I strongly suggest you keep this in the house. Now, a lot of people won't drink non-fat dry milk, and that's totally fine. However, why not reconstitute it and use it in recipes where you're not really noticing the taste of milk. For example, if you're spending a lot of money on other types of milk, 
and you're just using it, let's say, in a cake recipe, for example, just saying, just saying, do you really notice that taste difference? I don't. I don't. So why should I put the more expensive ingredient? If the more expensive ingredient is this, then, of course, you go the other way. Whatever least expensive ingredient that you're going to use in a recipe with milk, go for the least expensive ingredient at the moment. Don't automatically presume that this is the better price. What this is is very convenient, however. If the weather turns bad or, you know, you just ran out of your favorite milk and you need something at the moment, this fills in. And by the way, if you want to make it more palatable to drink, just add a little bit of vanilla extract and uh, maybe a pinch of sugar to every quart that you make. It really, really helps cut the edge. Just saying, just saying. Okay. Now, vinegar. Hmm. You know, you if you clean your bathroom constantly, all the time, okay, bathroom cleaner is very, very expensive. But, you know, white vinegar is definitely safer on the environment. This is where getting those spray bottles at the, you know, dollar store and, you know, maybe mixing it up with a little bit of water. Uh, if, um, if you could tolerate the smell of vinegar, it's really not that bad. I look at it this way. The vinegar cuts any sort of grease area, and it really, really helps. Here's the thing. If something as simple as white vinegar is safe enough to put in your mouth, I mean, just think of how safe it is to use as a general cleanser. And it does wonders on mirrors does wonders on windows. Grandma and grandpa were totally right about that, especially if you use old newspaper and uh, white vinegar to clean your windows. There's something about those two together that really, really works. So never ever overlook the powers of stuff that's under your nose and you're saving money on cleanser to boot. Now I am a huge, huge, huge advocate of keeping hydrogen peroxide not only as an anti-infective, which it's what it's called, it's an anti-infective. So if it's safe enough to keep your gums in check, if you use it daily, you know, with proper brushing and use it with a little bit of baking soda and you follow, you know, directions that you've ever heard anywhere else to use hydrogen peroxide in your mouth. Uh, just think of the other things you can do in it. One, namely, it is a stain lifter. Any detergent with the name oxide in it, oxy, O-X-I, what do you think is the component ingredient? Peroxide. Think about that for a second. Hmm. You might have been oxided before you even knew that you were oxided. There you go. <laughs> so, you know, I just tell you, hey, does anybody have a specific use for your hydrogen peroxide or your vinegar or your uh, rub? or your non-fat powdered milk, or another use for a sock. Oh, not to mention those cute little snowmen I make with those socks. Just saying, just saying. So think about it before you toss those white socks out in the garbage, okay? Which should be a, a method of last resort. At least get some use out of it, like a quick cleanup dust rag. Put it on your hand, wear it as a mitten, and go around. Do some fast, fast dusting in those, you know, little crevice places. You'd be surprised. And you would be amazed at, you know, just what you could do. By the way, I have a trick with salt. I don't have a thing of salt in front of me, although I have tons of salt here in the apartment. But here's a use for salt. If you have a nagging, annoying cough that kept you up all night, well, when you get up and you have your first cup of tea or coffee to feel a little better, put on a slow simmer, a teaspoon or two teaspoons of salt, regular salt, in boiling water. And let that steam permeate your room. I'm not kidding. It has always worked for me. It sort of creates a saline effect, like oceanic, salt water, breathing in effect. And it just seems to help simmer my cough. Give it a whirl and see if it helps you out. If you have one of those nagging tickles going on in the morning, like, <laughs> no, you don't want that. Anyway, I just thought that we would think twice about steals and deals. To me, every single one of these are a deal. A uh, tricky one, tricky one, however, at times could be the non-fat dry milk. So check it out in your particular area at your particular time that you are viewing this video. Everything else, winner, winner, winner. And you could get that vapor rub much cheaply than getting the original, original. It is really the same, same ingredients.
And in the meantime, this has been Jan from New York City. Thank you so much for viewing. Why? Because I really do appreciate whose time, your time. Have a wonderful day, everybody. I'm going to end this up with a little bit of music. Take a little time to stretch. Don't forget to give somebody a reason to smile today. Smiles are inexpensive, and smiles come back at you. Hey, I'd say that's definitely a win-win situation. Have a great day, everybody. See